My name is Drew Tucker. I'm the university pastor and director for the Center for Faith and Learning here at Capital University. I've been here since November of 2017. I started near the end of that month and it's been a real wonderful couple of years. I try to imagine if it's just been yesterday that I started or if I've been here for eons. It's a long and yet short time to be a part of the community. Some of the work that I do is coordinating our university-sponsored worship opportunities. Every week we have six kinds of worship and spiritual engagement in just corporate worship events. And then we have small groups, we have other campus ministries that I help to oversee their outside staff. I'm teaching in the youth and young adult ministry program at the seminary right now, which is a lot of fun because I get to teach about the work that I do here every day with students. My personal mission statement is to support people as they discern and develop their God-given identities. So the most rewarding part of my job is being a part of that discernment and development. Seeing students grasp onto the major, not that they started with, but the one that helps them become fully alive, the one that lets them become fully engaged with who they think they're meant to be, that is so life-giving. And doing it in a context where prayer and spiritual support and worship and service, where these are essential components of that formation, that's what's rewarding for me, is having spirituality be an aspect of that wellness that helps our students become fully themselves and fully alive in that expression. What I hope they take with them is not just encouragement, encouragement is very good, but tools, resources, practices that will sustain them as they continue to discern and develop their identities. Because identity formation doesn't stop at 22 years old or when you have a piece of paper that says you're now a Bachelor of Arts or a Bachelor of Sciences. Identity formation is a lifelong thing. And so from here, from my work, I hope that we are resourcing people to be forming their identities in God-given, beautiful and holy ways for a whole lifelong. So CapFam for me means our ability and our willingness to both be vulnerable with people and receive people's vulnerability in ways that encourage further vulnerability. It's holy space for people to share so deeply. And so we do that around dining tables in the MBR, we do that in residence halls, we do that in worship spaces, we do it on the quad, we do it in the hammocks that we have, which are dangerous if you don't sit in them right. We do it all over campus, and that's what CapFam is at its best. It's that experience of authenticity in every aspect of life. Pretty big. Uh,